Well, hello, my royalties. How are y'all doing? Haven't been on here in a little while, but I got a few videos coming up for you. Um, I got great news. My husband is home, so that's great. But anyway, I'm not going to go into all that right now. Those of you that follow me kind of know what's going on. Welcome to all my new royal members. I appreciate each and every one of you coming on and joining the royal family. And to all my loyal royalties, thank you again for staying with us. I appreciate you. I'm jumping on to share this Bible with you. I was recommended this Bible by a pastor, and it is called Man Ewell. Um, It's a Bible for men. And as this is only in the NIV version, as far as I know, by Zondervan Bibles. But I thought it was pretty neat from what they told me, so I ordered one. And... I'm going to kind of jump in and share a little bit of it with you. This is actually my husband's Bible, so there's some little bookmarks in here that may be personal to him. I'm not going to share, of course, but I'm going to jump in and share this with you. So, this is just the cover with, this is the way it looks. It's This is a hardbound um, Bible. And there's the back of it. So let me do it this way. And as you can see, it has the signatures here. If you can see that, if it gets in focus, let me move this out the way so we can get, there you go. As you can see, he's got a lot of stuff in here, so we're not going to get all into that, but there you go. So what is pretty neat, it's, this is how it starts out. It's just like a hardback covered book. Um... I didn't look, um, it was kind of hard to find, and I didn't look to see if it had it in a leather bound or not. I tried to find it, the, all I could find was soft cover or hard cover, and I got them hard cover. Um, it was roughly $40, like 36 and some change, um, then shipping and handling. I got this actual one. I believe I got this one off Amazon. I'm not 100% sure. It was either christianbooks.com or Amazon. But it has, um, every chapter has book introductions, of course. It has single column Bible text. It has um, myths. It has 100 myth articles, which is a common myth is debunked with principles from God's word, which I thought was great. Um, topics about issues. So there's like 300 at issue notes on topics such as money, sex, pride. Um, there is a 200 section, 200 sections of knowing God call outs, highlights. They highlight an attribute of God as shown in the scripture. I'll share all these with you. And then there's what, there are 200 downshift notes pertaining to questions for personal reflection or small group study. The questions are tied to scripture and send the reader to the index for information on the topic. And there's other additional features such as 50 profiles about select men of the Bible, must knows, interesting facts about men of the Bible. Um, each um, of the profile highlights how God used the man despite his failings. Um, there's just so many different parts of this Bible. So for all you guys, you know, wanting to get your young men, young guys or older men into the word, I thought this would be a great item. So here's your table of contents. Um, and of course, you know, this is all the introduction information about men of the Bible. And then here are different topics like pride, pornography, anger, faith, you know, um, money, family, and these are all things that are pertaining to God, you know, the myths that people talk about and God, you know, the word of God helps, you know, to get them through, you know, cause I believe we all have things we want to get through in life and we don't always have the answers. And sometimes in the word, it's hard you know, to find that specific answer, but this kind of helps guide you through it. So then this talks about it, the international version, the NIV and what it is. And then we get the Old Testament and then the book of Moses. I like the way this is, you know, look at that, the books. So 5, 67, 148, 
Leviticus 114 and 198. So it shows all these five books where Moses is in the Bible. And then it breaks down stuff about the five books of Moses. Then we got Genesis here. Look at this. I've fallen and I can't get up. We always can get back up. And then here are the knowing the knowing the creator, knowing God. I kind of want one of these for myself, guys, to be honest. But, you know, you know my collection of Bibles. I love them all. So, here are the down shifts that I referenced earlier. Here is um, stuff on the marriage and issue. And here's that myth page. One of, one of the myth, myth pages. And... You know, it just breaks it down for you. And then there has little lessons, you know, to let people know how to work this Bible. And that's pretty much how it goes through. There's another downshift. Um, again, I'm not going to go, here you are, knowing God, God alone. I'm not going to go because I know he has a lot of things marked in here. Like I said, things you should know about Joseph. And it just continues as such. I love all these little knowing gods. Um, I took a quick view at some of them. Uh, like I said, I don't want to, you know, go into, find something in here that's personal to him. Um, cause he does have some markings in here, but there's for Samuel, there's another mess. And like I said, I was just doing a quick review on this. Oh, here is knowing God. I just like all these little knowing God's downshifts and the myth and the little lessons. And here's another, this is Jeremiah. Yeah, about men crying because men, a lot of them don't or they do it in secret, holding a lot of things. Let's see. There's some more downshifts, downshifts. And there's a revealer of mysteries, knowing God. Things you should know about Matthew. And just how it breaks it down, you know. We have a lot of Bibles that are geared towards women. And so, trying to find a few things for men. I actually am going to be trying to set up it like a warm binder style for men. And see how that works out. Maybe using this Bible to help create that. So, let me know if you guys like to see that down in the comment section below. Um, oh and yeah like i said he has little bookmarks and things in here i don't know i don't get into his stuff so but he's been telling me to jump on and share it so i'm sharing it and back here is just the contents it has reading plans downshift through the downshift through the Bible with Jesus, through the myths. So 30-day reading plans here, which I thought was kind of interesting as well. And then certain articles. And then the table of weights and measures. Subject index. We all know what these are. <laughs> I've missed being on here with you guys, you know. I'm trying to readjust some things and just going through all this COVID stuff and uh, a lot of people that I know personally have been hit with it so I'm trying to hold them up in prayer and help where I can and trying to stay healthy myself work and do all the things that we all need to do on a day-to-day -day basis but here are reading plans so you guys will see me on here more I'm trying to get on here more and get a schedule going and I'm thinking maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays so that might this might be the start of that and here's 30 days with jesus so those are the plans and here's some articles being a mentor finding a mentor and then there's a note section and that basically ends this bible 
but I just want to jump on and share this with you guys real quick. Um, again, it is the new international version manual, the NIV Bible for men. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. I have a couple more Bibles that will be coming up or videos on two other Bibles that I have also gotten um, for him. One is a preaching Bible, one is a ministering Bible. Um, God has blessed me with the man of God. So, and I'm very grateful for that. So, I will be uploading some more things and I have a haul. And I haven't forgot about the giveaway. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hopefully, it'll be done by the time or at the time I reach 600 subscribers. We're getting there, guys. So, please don't forget to like the video if you like it. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and you've dropped on in. We'd love to have you in the royal family. And if you're here, a loyal royal member, please don't forget to share the video. And until next time, may God continue to bless you always. Toodles.